Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, honeybees. As you can see, it's been raining and everything. Got some pretty things acting going on. My bell peppers are getting some rain now. Look at them trying to spruce up. These bell peppers are still producing. My okra, my lemon. Got to clean these little things out so they can not suffocate my corn. She's looking good too. And you already know, these cucumbers are really shooting off now since it's been raining. I'll go out here, but it's still kind of sprinkling a little bit. And uh, yeah, they're out here. They're working still. They out here working. Let's see. Yeah, they working. Mm-hmm. I don't know. The others might be over there. Let's see. They're over here working. They're over here working. Mickey's doing his job. He's not bothering them. It was really pouring out here. And like I said, I'm still trying to get something to go over there. He knows not to go over there now. Um, he, he listens very well, so yeah we're gonna close that area off just still um but i'm glad he's away from over there and he's got all the antibiotics and all that good stuff you know got him good and cleaned up and everything so he's healing pretty good um it just really tore his face up but um other than that everything is looking good still got a little rain coming but um, yeah, just beautiful. Got to get over here and, um, clean around this little bit right here because my squash is working his way around this container and, um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to clean this bit out. Remember where all those ants were with those potatoes? I'm gonna have to do something with that over there. But uh, yeah, and this um, blackberry, she's done did what she was gonna do for the season and I'm gonna have to probably pull her up when it's time for her and get her in another location yeah I'm gonna have to ask y'all some questions about that and study some more on how I can re relocate and put this somewhere where she won't die but um, I'm just getting everything ready because we're gonna be getting ready to go out here to this homestead soon and I keep saying soon because it is really soon um, trying to get there by the first of the year and so the months are going they're ticking really fast and i just want to have everything um gathered up including outdoors at back you know in the backyard as well so yeah she's going on over here so i'm gonna have to pick her up and then over here to move her away from this so that way they won't be attaching themselves to her and everything, but um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Me up some of that um sage right there, and cut me some up and dehydrate them so I can have some of that sage and um the watermelon and stuff. They didn't do too good. Um, I think it might have been the soil down below or what. I don't know, but it's okay. It's a try and trial and error. It's all right. And take down this um, bamboo and stuff like that. So that way I can have that rather up to, to go out there on the homestead and everything. Um, grass is trying to come back, as you can see, from where I had cleaned it up in the area. And... Um, Yep, you can tell that this how the seasons are coming in and 
still kind of confusing to everything, but it's all right. We'll like the, like the grass to come up in here so that way we can kind of clean it. At one point, it used to be like shrubs that came along this area right here. And we cut them out because they were getting so big and rebunctious and just ugly. It just looked ugly over in here. And like I had said, you know, I was going to have it as a, uh, a beautiful flower garden. But um, it just didn't turn out that way. You know, life happens, things happen. But um, that's okay. So get that all cleaned up and everything like that. So I won't have much to do. When it's time, I want it to look good out here still after we move. I don't know if y'all remember, but um, I had found that table desk on the side of the road. I'm going to take these drawers and those handles, and um, I will be reusing those handles, and I'll be taking those off. Um, probably use the end of that of the drawer and these drawers as well and have them also inside something because i wanted to use this table it's so thick and hard um to make that as far as a butcher block island to go out there in the kitchen home in the honeycomb and that's the plan for that <clears throat> so we're gonna have to get that moved so we can take that on out there as well so that way it won't get damaged out here but um it's real thick and it's solid. Y'all know about them old desk back in the 80s. It was on the side of the road. So yeah, repurposed. Just repurposing. Now I'm on the back side of the garden as y'all can see. How it looks um, from this angle really good. Um, yeah, we're gonna get this part right here all good and cleaned up. Um, I'm gonna take that soil and transport that soil because I'm gonna use that soil to go over there on the other side of the yard and play, replace that after I get this um, stuff harvested and everything and kind of clean it up around here. Uh, take down the T-post and the fencing and all that. Get it all rolled up and everything so that way all that can be you know good and ready to go as well too because that's going to be part of our infrastructure builds out there. Um, the honeycomb, the outdoor kitchen is going to be put out there as well. So um, we're just pretty much like slowly cleaning things and just preparing and having everything pretty much like in a stockpile. So that way when we get ready to take it off, everything will be rolled up. Everything will be kind of organized and, and all that as well. Yeah. Because that's the plan. It's to clean all this stuff up so we can have it ready. Same thing on this end. You know, take up all the T-post. You know, get all that good and clear it up. And everything. Because when they get ready to move the honeycomb out there, all this stuff will be out of the way. And like I said, just kind of roll everything up and have everything in a little pile. And put some off in here as well, too. And, um... That way, when they take it out there, um, if we ain't got a truck by then, that will, all this stuff will be going out there, you know. And it'll be just sitting and waiting as we put them together. I can be putting my garden together using this equipment, you know, some of the stuff that I have accumulated over time. You know, sometime next year, um, during the spring or whatever, cinder blocks, you know. Just little stuff. It's amazing how your garden can look when you put in a whole lot of work and look at the seasons, how it changes and stuff and how everything change along with the seasons. Just like us people do. We change, you know, all about mood and how you're feeling and stuff like that. It's a beautiful day. Yep, so, um, just working out here and 
just picking up it looks a lot better than what it was I'm just glad about that and just slowly just put things together wrap everything up and um, it just looks good everything is looking good Yep. It's going to be a new beginning. A new beginning. 